Vikings have re-signed defense lineman Jonathan freaking Bullard. All right, welcome back to One Bar and Lumpica Show. I'm One Bar Vikings adding some more, I should say re-adding some more depth pieces along the defensive line. Journeyman Jonathan Bullard, who the Vikings signed last summer, is coming back. They just re-signed him. We're going to be talking about that. Before we do that, remember to subscribe to the channel, like the videos here every damn day, talking Minnesota Vikings. Let's get to 10,000 subs. Boom, boom, boom. Hit that button. Uh, hopefully, just like Jonathan Bullard is hitting some NFC North quarterback ass next year so let's take a quick look at this they signed him last year and bullard actually got decent run the former third round pick in 2016 to the bears uh gotten 12 games for the vikings last year had a had seven starts recorded 23 tackles five tackles for a loss so uh he definitely got out there whether that's a good thing or a bad thing he he was on the field so um you know this you can look at this two ways you can get pissed off that we didn't sign the top available free agent defensive lineman, or you can just say we're probably done in free agency, probably looking towards a draft to uh, continue to improve this defensive line. I look at it, we're adding depth, we're adding a veteran depth guy that knows the system that has been here before. I don't see him being a, a game changer whatsoever. Ideally, yeah, he's probably not, not on the field out there that much, but he gives us the cushion where if he gets out there, he can hopefully make some plays. I mean, this is a guy to me that's going to be scrambling just to probably make the 53-man roster. When you look at the defensive line, we had a Dean Lowry. Uh, we re-signed Tonga. And then we got, you know, the Ross Blacklocks, the James Lynches, the Kenny Wilkes, the Sheldon Days. So we got guys like that that Bullard will be fighting just to make the team. Um, you got to have the depth pieces. So we're at that point in free agency right now where the sexy time is probably over. Now it's time to bring some of these guys back, which – it's worth noting the Vikings aren't shy to get rid of players they don't want back. Like, clearly, we've seen them just clean the cupboard, get rid of guys that just like, thank you, we're moving on. So it does actually say a little bit something they're bringing them back. I haven't seen the numbers yet. Something tells me it's going to be extremely, extremely cheap and probably little to no guarantees. I could be dead wrong, but that's the way I see it. I am a little surprised. Like, Dean Lowry... I think he's going to hold down that, uh, that end spot right now um, until the draft uh, opposite Harrison Phillips. So Bullard, I mean, it, like him or not, he's probably right behind Dean Lowry on the depth chart right now because you got James Lynch and uh, fifth rounder Atom Weo from last year um, are the only other two options. So we will see. I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's one of those things that's where you're going through your starburst. And you got a, you got an orange starburst. It's not great. Damn it. It'll do in a pinch. So I, I like the fact veteran, veteran, vet, veteran, get those guys on this defense. Let's bring in some young guys. And uh, and here we go. Let me know. Comments below. What do you think about Jonathan Bullard back? Excited? Do you not care? Hit that sub button. We'll be back later.